In this video, we're going to do some example problems where we solve for the marginal rate of substitution. Utility equals 4C plus 6T. C is cups of coffee. T represents cups of tea. We want to solve for the marginal rate of substitution of T for coffee. This marginal rate of substitution gives a rate at which a person is willing to give up coffee for more tea, holding utility constant. So the marginal rate of substitution is going to equal the marginal utility of T. So the marginal rate of substitution of T, the of thing, the marginal utility goes in the numerator. And then for the last thing here for coffee, the marginal utility of that appears in the denominator. The marginal utility of t, we get the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to t, we get back 6. And the marginal utility of coffee in this example is 4. Forming the marginal rate of substitution, the ratio of these two marginal utilities, 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. So in this example, the consumer is willing to give up 1.5 cups of coffee for one more cup of tea. Example two, different utility function, a Cobb-Douglas utility function. X represents units of good X and Y equals units of good Y. We want to solve for the marginal rate of substitution of X for Y. This gives a rate at which a person is willing to give up good Y for more good X, holding utility constant. The marginal rate of substitution is going to be given by the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. Getting the marginal utility of good x, you can take the partial derivative here with respect to x. The exponent here on the x comes down in front, and then we subtract 1 from that exponent here on the x term, and then we simplify. 1 fourth times 4, that just becomes 1, and x now is raised to the minus 3 fourths power, 1 fourth minus 1. And the marginal utility of good y. That 3 fourths on the exponent on the y term comes down in front. So the 4's will cancel here. And just left with 3 in front. And then on that y term, we're going to subtract 1 from its exponent, leaving us with y raised to the minus 1 fourth power. Putting everything together, this x to the minus 3 fourths can be moved into the denominator, and you'll just have x. And this y to the minus 1 fourth, if we move it into the numerator, you'll have y to the 3 fourths times y to the 1 fourth, or just y. And that is our marginal rate of substitution. Unlike our first example, where we're looking at a utility function for perfect substitutes, the marginal rate of substitution for a Cobb-Douglas utility function will change depending where we are along its indifference curve. And in our last example, we have our utility function. What is the marginal rate of substitution of x for y? Going to get the marginal utility of good x. So differentiating this, we're going to get 0.5 divided by x. And the marginal utility of good y, we get 0.5 divided by y. Forming the marginal rate of substitution and simplifying, the 0.5s cancel here, and you're going to just be left with y over x. All right, I will stop here.